Hi Zapero developers, let's enrich our world using Unity's Asset Store. We are going to definitely explore that and see what assets we can find for our project here. Now, before we do that though, let's go ahead and go into the GitHub community. Here you can see the uploaded official sample world. If you download and open the project, you'll find scripts, maps, skyboxes, and other resources covered in this lecture that you can freely use to create your world. Okay, let's go ahead and switch over to Unity. We can take a look at the Maps folder quickly. In here are environment prefabs. Please feel free to use these assets in your own worlds. Okay, let's look into the Assets, Resources, Dynamic Starry Sky folder. In here are materials that you can use to change the way the sky looks for our scene, just by dragging and dropping them. I really like CBS Sky Day, so I think I'll go with that for now. Another cool resource you have access to are the built-in packages viewable from the Package Manager. If you go to Window, Package Manager, and select My Registries from the drop-down, you will see packages that you can add to your project. In here, you'll find various packages like Build It City, Build It Classroom, Build It Theme Park, and Build It Wedding. Each of these packages has their own unique set of assets. We've actually already gone ahead and installed these packages for you. Looking at Build a Classroom, you'll see some really nice looking classroom themed assets such as chairs, signs, and lockers that you can use to liven up your own worlds. Next, let's take a look at the Unity Asset Store, which can be found if you select Window Asset Store. The Asset Store offers a variety of assets. For now, let's search for BGM. Also, if you scroll over 3D and 2D, you'll see various categories of assets that you can also further explore. According to the search results, both paid and free assets do show up. If you want to view free assets only, click the plus button on the right to expand the pricing menu and check the free assets checkbox. Take a look at this arcade game BGM17 music asset. After listening to the preview, click the add to my asset button to import this background music asset. Then if you click open in Unity, you can then be taken back to the Unity window. You will see Arcade Game BGM17 populated in your Package Manager under My Assets. Go ahead and click the Import button, and then your Import Unity Package window pops up. Make sure everything is checked, and then go ahead and click Import. Once that's imported, you'll see if you go to Assets, that that arcade game BGM number 17 folder has been created for you with the assets inside it. Now let's add an audio source so we can hear the sound. So either click the main camera or you can actually create an empty game object and we'll go ahead and call this BGM player. And we'll go to that and add component and add an audio source. And under audio clip, we're going to go to that sound that we downloaded and drag it into audio clip. Take a look at this play on awake boolean property. This just means that if checked, when the game starts, the sound will play automatically. And under it, you'll notice the loop property. This just means when the sound ends, it's going to loop. And for background sounds, this makes sense to check. So I would go ahead and check that to be true. You'll also notice some other properties here like priority, volume, pitch, stereo pan, and spatial blend, as well as reverb zone mix. Go ahead and play around with those. Those can definitely add some really unique effects to your sound. Also, take a look at resources BGM folder. In here are some extra sounds that you can also use inside your project. So go ahead and play around with these when you have time to see what these sounds are. Now, there is one thing that I would like to ask you, and that is to please visit our guidelines to review our content policy. We have quite a few younger users, so the guidelines are extremely strict. Please pay close attention to this pedal world guide. Now, these guidelines are available on the official site and in the GitHub community. 
Here you can see some links to our content policies. Content policies regarding violent and suggestive materials are outlined with our studio creation joint material, world, and licensing guidelines, so please keep these under consideration. Please also make yourself familiar with our UGC guidelines before creating a world for the Zepedo platform. Finally, we ask that you please visit our community guidelines page, where you'll see an introduction with general information. You'll see a privacy section talking about personal information that should be protected, as well as prohibited actions, which talks about violent and offensive content, which is not allowed on our platform. Music